to your recording. Hi. Hi. We're Hi. We're Mixer. This is our live demo. So, what is Mixer? Sometimes you find yourself want to go somewhere but can't find any friends to go with. However, there's still some people on earth who also want to go there, but you just haven't met them yet. Mixer is an app to solve the problem. How? Let me show you. So this is a landing page of Mixer, allowing you to be either log in or sign up. Let's say we're a new user today and we want to do sign up. Okay. So in the sign up page, you should set up your username, email, password. Each of these fields will check if the user's input is valid. So let's say uh, we are Mark Jacobs today and we enter an email address. Whoa, see, there's an arrow message telling you you should enter a valid email. Okay, see, after we like enter a valid email, it's not complaining anymore. Okay, and if so we want to set up a password. If we didn't enter anything, it'll tell you you should enter something. If we enter a different password in the comfort password file, it will tell you you should enter the same password. Okay. Okay. Let's do sign up. Okay. So after sign up, the user will be redirected to the profile setup page. One feature of Mixer is the user's input can be instantly shown, which makes our app more interactive. So we are Mark J. Capsidy. So let's set up our basic profile. It should be a male, I suggest. And he has an hint. Okay. Uh, the email is already set up because we registered in the sign up page and we should have a date of birth. Let's give it hmm, maybe 997, January 23rd. Okay. And yeah, also every field, input field in this page will also check if it's valid or not. So let's say we remove this. Like, oh, it will tell you you should enter your first name here. Okay. Okay. Let me quickly set up the profile page. Okay. Mark Jacobs. Thank you. Okay. So you can see in the left hand side, this is the editor view. This will be displayed to other users. So that is the main reason why we would like to make it interactive because we would like to like see our changes immediately to know oh what will it look like in the profile page we're going to show others. Okay. So um, we'll have two buttons here. We have either save or clear, but right now I'll just demonstrating the save. Okay. okay, it tells you you have successfully updated your profile. Okay. Next. We can go to the location page to set up our preferences. This is telling the Mixer about our personal preference so that Mixer can find somebody with the same interest or same preference as you. Okay. So we can press a new button here to start adding a new location. Okay. It's telling, okay, you have successfully added one. Um, we're currently setting the maximum uh, number of location preferences as five, like to, um, control our scope. Okay. So, okay, you can specify the place name here by the drop-down list. Let's say we want to go to Aya and we want to go there on um, September 2, 2022. And on, um, um, okay. This is a start time and end time that you would like to go to that place so that Mixer can know that, oh, he should find, um, Mitsu should find someone, like also have some like time range overlap with you to go with that place, okay? Okay. Um, there's also a check here to validate that the end date should be larger than the start date and all fails should be failed. If I, see, it's complaining here, okay? If I set up something like before, let's see, oh, See, there is there's a complaint. Please select end date, which is greater than start date. 
And you can also see that the button here is disabled if the input here is not valid. The same will apply to the profile page. The button will be non clickable and will be more transparent. Okay, let's set it as normal here. Okay, okay, we can then save it. Okay, let's add, let's add a few more locations here. Let's say we want to go to Puffer's Bound. Also on the same start time and end time. Save it. Okay. Okay, another one here would be, let's say we want to go to the cafe here. Okay. 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 You can refresh and see, like I just do a manual refresh and you can see that um, all the changes are permanently being saved in the database. Now we can enter to the matches page. Did, did you, oh, it's not showing anything. Probably I should add some more options here. Let me see, where should I add to? I would like to go to PyTop Pockets, all okay. right. Save here and another one here. Let's go to Mm, happen here on mm, let's say I want to go to go there on uh, December two, um, two second and also okay save it let's see if we have some matches now Dip. now we enter to the matches page this will display all users who have the same interest so uh, we designed this page to display the most important information that the user may want to know. For example, here you can see the number of reviews, number of been to, and number of met. We designed this to make sure our user feel safer when using our app, and they can consider whether they want to meet with this person based on the status. Okay, so we displayed oh the first name, last name, about me here, and also um, the places that we're matched with. If you click on it, you can get a more detailed view. So this is, um, this basically is showing the left hand side that you can see when you're editing your profile. It also shows the specific place and specific time that uh, you have, you both of you have in common. Let's say we want to send invitation to Tony Stark. We invite them. Oh, it tells us invitations are sent. Okay, close it. You can see that um, the Aya previously as the first one has already removed because you already sent an invitation and you probably don't want to like um, the invitation, the matches like keep showing up here. So we remove it. Let's see. There's another one from Tony Stark um, to Pop First Bound. Hmm. Maybe you don't want to. Oh, maybe. Okay, I'll consider. Maybe Mark Jacobs consider to go there too. Send another invitation. Okay. Okay. Mm, since we sent two invitations to Tony Stark, we can now check what Tony Stark sees. So let's log in to Tony Stark here. Okay. This is a sign signing page, so I can do login here. See? Okay, let's go to the invitation part. Oop. So Tony Stark received two invitations we just sent from Mark Jacobs. Hmm, and like after Tony Stark see this invitation, maybe he's still interested in Aya. So he could do an accept here. See, there's an accept invitation and the invitations is removed from here because Tony has already accepted it. The other invitation here can be reject. Hmm, maybe Tony don't want to go to Profits Bound anymore. He can reject it. See, there is a reject invitation here. Okay. Then we can go to the assess page. See here, there is, here will be listed the Mark Jacobs um, here because like we accept like Mark sent an invitation and Tony accepted it. So you can see it from the accept page here. And for Tony, we can see there is Tony Stark. They have little, yep. 
they accept each other to go to meet sometime. All right, so that's it for our demo. Thank you, everyone.